hello guys welcome back to my channel so today what we're gonna do is play with all the stuff that I got from Sephora from my recent Sephora VIB sale haul I think it'll be super fun because there's so many products that I've been wanting to try like the Kosas brow product and the it cosmetic CC cream but let's just jump right into it if you guys ever wondered what that is back there this is where I keep all my products I need to try so they're all in here all right so I'm going to just put my hair back with my headband so we can get started. I got this from Anthropology, by the way, I think over the holidays. So my face is washed, but I haven't put a serum on yet. So let's try out this Trader Joe's one. I love the way it feels. It's super um, absorbent. It goes into the skin really fast, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry. It definitely has that hyaluronic acid in it. So this is definitely a good first step for me before I put on my primer and my face always looks red when I rub anything in it, so don't be alarmed. I'm gonna go in with my Milani Chill Out Primer. This one always seems to do the trick. I don't feel like I ever have any issues with this one in particular, but yeah. The Honest Beauty Primer is giving me issues. Okay, so now the moment I've been waiting for, time to try the CC Cream from It Cosmetics. I'm super excited to see if this works. The shade looks pretty good so far from the packaging. I hope it works with this primer. I'm just gonna put one pump on the back of my hand and then dip from there. Well, I guess two pumps. Ooh, it actually looks kind of dark. I got the shade light. So it's going on super beautiful. I am loving the finish. It's working with the primer so far. It looks like a medium coverage, like a strong medium coverage. It doesn't look full as to where I can't see absolutely everything, but it is definitely a super strong medium. And this is definitely a shade too dark for me. I got the light, but I guess I should have gotten like fair. I'll just make sure I don't go ham with the bronzer. And when I set my face, it always makes it lighter, but just keep that in mind that their shades run a little bit darker than normal. I'm gonna go in with just one more half pump so I can do my other cheek and then down my neck. My skin like drank up that foundation. Um, it looks like such a pretty finish and it looks like it's gonna be matte. I was worried because it has that 50 SPF. It was not going to set down on my face, but it's already looking great. So I'm gonna now go in with concealer before I do anything else. But so far this is a win. I'm really liking that. And just because I use the It Cosmetics on my face, I'm gonna try to find the primer. So I have the concealer in Light Nude, and I'm just going to lightly dab that on with my fingers and my under eye area, and then any other area where I need a little bit of brightness. All right, so we are looking good. My face is looking super fresh. I just need to set it now, so I'm going to be using my Airspun powder from Hourglass. It always works for me. Alright, my face is now powdered. It is looking great. I need to go in with my bronzer and my blush, and again, I didn't buy those because I already had them in my collection. So I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Nude Bronze Light. I love this bronzer. I think it just looks so pretty on the skin. And it kind of like really blends in and melts in because it has some of that reflectiveness in the pan. It's just really pretty. I highly recommend. I put this actually in my recommendations for things to buy if you didn't already own it while the sale was going on. Um, it's a little bit pricey, so definitely wait until there's a sale to pick it up if you need to, but um, it's so nice. And my favorite part about this is that I sometimes can be a little bit heavy-handed with bronzer. I just love bronzer so much. And this one is super light, so you can build it up. And it's not super light coverage in an annoying way. It's just super user-friendly. You can build it to the intensity that you want and then not have to worry about it. So it's looking super nice. It's going really well with this foundation. I have bronzer on. Now I need a little bit of blush. I have absolutely been loving this Lawless Beauty Blush in Angel Suede. I should probably just show you the inside. It's so pretty, perfect for summer. Also, you can get this at Sephora. And what I love about this is that it's clean beauty. 
it's not crazy pigmented which again is what I want in a blush I already have a lot of redness in my skin so I don't need something that's gonna be obnoxious and make me look like my redness is really coming through I just like something to give me like a little bit of a pretty flush because I already have bronzer on and I'm gonna be putting highlight on so another favorite which I should have put this in my video my other video I forgot I have the mini size of the RMS Beauty Luminizing Powder in Grand Dame. It is such a pretty color. I literally can't get over it. I think it's so glowy. Now my skin does have a lot of texture, so this doesn't hide my texture at all. I know some highlighters can, but the glow it gives is so pretty. And it's not always about hiding and reducing your texture. It's just about evening your skin tone and kind of working with what you got. So I absolutely love this, definitely recommend. I'm not gonna buy one until I run out of this mini size because I've been working on this mini size for a while, but I literally love it so much. Since this video is more about trying out stuff that I actually bought from the Sephora sale, I'm not going to do a crazy complicated eye look. I'm literally just gonna do my normal um, bronzer in the crease just for something neutral today. But the next makeup video I want to do, I kind of want to get a little bit more adventurous and do something fun. But for now, I'm just going to do the normal, define the crease, highlight my areas I want to highlight, and then move on to the rest of our products to try out. But what we can do is start on the brows and we can try out the new Kosas products. I'm so excited. I just literally love the packaging. I think it's so pretty. And I love that the ingredients are so clean. I'm struggling right now. Like, look at these. I literally can't. I'll just put it over here. You can probably see on the background better. All right, so I'm going to start with the brow pencil. It's the dual action defining pencil. What I kind of do with my brows when I'm just doing something super simple is I just define the bottom and then I define the top and then fill in the sparse areas in between because you don't need the same coverage everywhere. Well, at least I don't. My brows aren't one thickness, so I just go fill in the areas that need to be filled in. And sometimes I get really carried away and I just pop off. But this gives me so much more control than the other brow wand because this one is super thin and it's laying down nice pigment. It's not super chunky and weird and gross. I really am liking this one so far. I love the control that I have with this little, little tip. These are so nice. Oh my goodness. Co says you really did that. I'm going to brush through a little bit, but I don't need a lot because I'm going to go through with the brow gel. And for the brow gel, oh, again, this packaging. Mm, love it. Okay, so for the brow gel, I'm just going to, what shade did I get? I got soft brown, which I hope is the right shade. It might be a little too dark, but that's fine. I really need to trim this brow. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. I think that looks really good. So the, the wand isn't super huge, so you do have some control. I did get a little chunk on my brow that I had to kind of like work with and get off. But other than that, love these two products. I think I like this more than the Velour one that I've been using in my videos. So good combo, good find. Definitely still recommend this one. I need to put on some lip gloss. My lips are so dry and everybody's probably been staring at it this entire video. I got this one from Say. It's the Real Great Gloss Incredibly Juicy Lip Gloss and I want nothing more than juicy lips. What shade is this? Fresh. I said that's so weird. Fresh. Fresh. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put on the lip liner. All right, we're just gonna put this on to hydrate my lips. Ooh. It's not sticky at all, like at all. Super creamy. I love this nude color, that's why I got it. I wanted something a little bit more than a clear gloss, but I didn't really want much pigment. I just wanted to put it on and have my lips look juicy, and I think it really did this. So, um, love that. Again, clean formula, you know me. Let's do mascara really quick. We are jumping all around. I got this sample from Bite. It's the Upswing Full Volume Mascara. Bite Beauty in solid black. She thick. Yeah, she's very thick. I'm nervous. It's such a small handle. It's a short handle, but it's super thick, so it's hard to like grip. Grip it and use it. 
Also, it's not fair because I have a little bit of leftover mascara on from yesterday. I just couldn't get it all off, off last night. And just was like being super stubborn. So, that's also happening. Okay, that's the best we're gonna do together. I'm going to pick one of the lip liners. We have, let's just, I'm gonna undo the, or unpeel, unpeel them. I'm gonna peel off all of the wrapping and then we'll decide which one we want. All right, they are all unpeeled. Let's start with number one. That is darker than I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. That is not, not what it said it was going to be. And now we're gonna go in with two. These are so hard to pull off. Okay, that one's a little bit warm. Let me try the third one. Similar, slightly pinky. What tone do I want today? I think I want this one. So I'm gonna take off my lip gloss and then put this on. Okay, so I'm going in with number th number four. I, don't, I, think I said number three. This is number four. I don't know the name of it other than that. I love how creamy these, these are and I like that they're retractable. I think I'm just gonna wear this as a lipstick. I'm gonna fill in the lips. This is like a My Lips But Better color, so that is beautiful. Now I'm gonna put on this right in the center. So I'm gonna put on my lip gloss and I'm gonna try to not get the lip liner on the gloss itself. Pretty, are we looking juicy yet? So I've done basically everything on my face, super pretty natural look, except we did not do the blue light filter mist from Ilya. And I'm gonna have to edit today, so if my skin looks great, it's because of this. It is like tingling, not tingling. I hear like the bubbles popping in my ears. It's the weirdest thing. I've never had that happen with the setting mist before. It smells super spa-esque. It smells like the when you go to a spa or get a facial or get a massage or something like that. This scent is what that reminds me of. Let's take down our hair. How are we looking? We looking good? All right, you guys, we are finished. That was a super fast look. So basically, just to recap, oh, and look, I'm using my basket for all of the makeup that we used today. Super organized. But okay, so quickly, freaking love the brow stuff. I'm gonna be using this every day. Um, I also really love this CC cream from It Cosmetics. It definitely is one shade or like a half shade too dark for me. So I think this will be good during the summer. And then I'll just get a lighter shade in the winter. So I'll just kind of roll with this for now just because I know I'm only gonna be getting a little bit tanner from here. I love this gloss. I'm gonna have to invest in more of these. I love the formula and I love the color and I love how it feels on my lips. Like my lips look so juicy. Can we not? Okay, so I love that. Things that you probably should pick up if I were you, I would get the Hourglass Bronzer and the Ilia, not the Ilia, the RMS Beauty Highlighter, such a bop. I also love the Hourglass Powder. Um, I'm still forming my opinion on the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, so stay tuned on that. I don't know if I love it. It's kind of just there. It's one of those products that like I'm not like wowed by, but it's not making me angry. <laughs> So there's that. I think that is all my lovely, lovely friends. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending this time doing makeup with me. It was super fun. Let's do it again sometime. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.